Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel, and today's video, we're gonna be talking about the It's a Valorant drama that's been popping up on Twitter, and it's gotten so blown out of proportion, it's ridiculous. Now, I covered it on stream, so I'd like to let the stream kind of show that for you guys. I'd like to have the stream kind of do it. Again, another stream highlight. Like I said, in the past videos, I do enjoy doing these stream highlight videos. Before I get into it, I really do want to, you know, reiterate my opinion about the subject. I think both parties in this situation are genuinely annoying, and uh, this entire community sucks, okay? This, uh, <laughs> this, uh, Valorant community is dog shit. I do not like any of them. Uh, they blew a small, uh, situation out of proportion. I actually made a tweet that I think resonates pretty well with the situation still, and that's the sheer fact that I think both of them are in the wrong. Now, if you don't know what happened, basically, this two streamers were in the same lobby of a ranked lobby. The dude made a comm. She reacted in a passive-aggressive way, and it started an argument, and it ultimately ended in her saying, you know, shit like, you know, the life of being a woman and then blaming it on sexism and whatnot. The guy ultimately turned it into a clip and then posted it on Twitter, causing an even bigger discourse. And the way I basically worded it was that he's an idiot for turning this into a massive drama when it really doesn't need to be. And I think she's an asshole uh, for having such a massive ego because apparently this Juna person is known for having like a massive ego within the community. She's also dating uh, this Shazam guy who apparently false flagged West Jet, which I don't care how your opinion is of WestJet, uh, false flagging is always going to be a negative thing and you should never false flag people. So, and, and it seems like people don't really have a high opinion of uh, Shazam in general, nor do they have a high opinion of his girlfriend because she apparently has a massive ego and it kind of shows in this clip. Now, again, I can't emphasize enough that both parties in this situation are just cringe. I don't think he should have blown this into out of proportion, but to be fair with you, I think she's overreacting as well. Uh, she started going on tirades on Twitter, just just constant tweeting, 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 even saying shit like, why is this getting blown out of proportion when she keeps tweeting about it, right? If you had your, if you put your two cents in and just said, I don't think there's an issue with this clip, you know, then that's all you really have to say. But she went out of her way to search the VOD and everything to kind of paint this guy as like a weirdo and a sexist, which is just ultimately really cringe. Uh, and again, I can't emphasize enough that she turned this into a gender problem when this had nothing to do with a gender problem. Her gender was never brought up in the entire situation. So it's just kind of a, it's kind of a wash, right? Nobody really cares. Uh, you know, I would I would understand if the guy started like commenting on her like gender, you know, uh, complaining about her being a woman and whatnot, but he literally doesn't. He just makes a calm. She gets passive aggressive about it and then he gets upset about it. Do I think he overreacted? Of course I do. But ultimately, I just don't think he's in the wrong for the situation. And I also don't think she's entirely in the wrong for the situation. I think both parties are stupid, right? I think he overreacted. I think he was soft. I think he got fucking mad at something so minuscule, right? There's been plenty of of times where people have been passive aggressive with me in games and it's like at the end of the day it's like are you gonna get upset about it or are you just gonna not really care and at the end of the day it's like it, i don't really care if he's really gonna get that upset about it just mute the people right that's why we have moderation in the first place is we mute people if we don't like how they're acting or how they're treating other individuals and well in this circumstance he could have easily done that but instead him and his friend got fucking pissy about it and it's like dude grow a fucking pair dude because here's the deal all she says is she knows that's it she said two fucking words if you're gonna get upset over that dude i don't know what to tell you but also for this girl if you're gonna blame this on sexism you need to reevaluate yourself because not only are you making this guy seem like a sexist to multiple people on the internet but of course the valorant community in itself on twitter is genuinely boasting about how this is a woman problem when this has nothing to do with gender like it, it, it like i can't stress enough how this has nothing to do with fucking gender but anyways guys i just want to let the clips roll for you guys just so you guys can you know get an understanding of what happened in the real time Time. You guys there? Chat, it's time for some evil drama news with your host, Marcus Baby. Sorry I didn't start sooner. I'm, I like got hungry. I got really hungry. Oh, fuck my, my dog. What is up, chat? We're going to talk about some drama. You can, you can see it on the screen. We're going to talk about Valorant drama and the Val Valorant community because this community fucking sucks. I hate this game. I hate this community. I hate all of them. They're all fucking retarded. And you know what I did? I decided, you know what? What's better than this? Getting, I got popcorn for the stream because I'm hungry. Because I'm hungry, I got popcorn. And that's fitting because we're going to be talking about drama. Why do so many Valorant players act like BPD ridden children? I don't know. It's because Valorant's built this community. They've built a, they built a very bad community 
and it sucks. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna let this clip play out first because this is the clip that everyone's shitting their pay uh, their pants over. Everyone's getting angry over this fucking clip. So let's just let it play real quick. The bomb down, you can res. Who knows? Okay. <laughs> Yo, we are unironically not yep. five rounds in. Who the fuck is so angry? Wait. Wait, why, how are we I angry? Are you mad at or what? No. Who the fuck says he knows when like, you're doing a good comp? That's a good comp. Cause she knows. I never so, said like, it was... A, why do you have attitude? What the well, how, fuck? How is that attitude? I don't know when I have my own. I don't need... Like, when people call the bullets in your gun, I'm not gonna be like, I know, like, is this a good call? There's extra info. I said she knows because she knew. You're the one who's on my ass saying I have attitude and shit. Like, what? Dude, the joys of being a woman. There it is! Chat, the joys of being a woman in Valorant. You guys are hella fucking weird, by the way. Fucking loser fucks, loser freak fucks. Freaks! It's terrible also. Nani? I hope these two- Hey. Loser freaks? This is why this is called evil drama news. That's why this is called evil drama also news, I'm just saying. Platform. Is light edit somebody? Light. Why does that matter? Light edits. Wow. How can you be so angry? You edit Valorant videos. Yeah, she got pissed. He got pissed. And I'm here to tell you all that they're both retarded, that they both suck. There's the drama. Because on one hand, what was the purpose of making this entire thing into a drama by the guy, right? It's really not that big of a deal. And then on the other hand, she was definitely giving attitude. Uh, she was like 100% giving attitude. She made it into a problem about being a woman. Because apparently that had everything to do with her being a woman. He didn't even mention her being a girl. He didn't say anything about her being a girl. She just made it about a woman problem. It's always... <laughs> It's always great to be able to edit videos and make it look exactly how you want. You guys were being weird all game. That's just how she talks. And people think it's attitude because it's not a soft oo-woo voice. This is pretty lame to do, dude. Your team was instigating the whole game. Do you better? Now, to put into context, uh, they that was the first time he said a word all game. So he didn't edit it to look any different that was that's just not true that was the first time he said words all he said was a good calm okay he, he just said a decent like it's not like it was a bad calm and it's not like it was a good calm i fucking play video games all right i played video games i know what a calm is and he said a very basic calm no one's getting fucking mad at this like no no one's getting mad at stupid like basic comms i play fucking apex right and i know he already has his alt right it's pretty obvious we've been playing the game for like 30 minutes he's gonna have his alt but i just remind him right like that's a common thing i'll be like hey you you got your alt is, is alt ready like it's just it's a common thing to fucking ask okay he's not gonna sit there and be like um why would you fucking ask that retard uh obviously that's not how far she's going but like clearly she's giving fucking attitude she's being an asshole and instead of just saying like something as simple as like yeah sorry i didn't want it to come off as being rude uh she just kept trying to defend herself and then like reported him and called it a woman problem when it isn't a woman problem this has nothing to do with her being a woman like he didn't mention it he didn't mention it at all and nothing to do with being a woman nothing absolutely fucking nothing i will give her the benefit of the doubt this guy is kind of strange uh i watched westjet talk about it i know people are probably think oh bias towards westjet brother i don't know who the i don't watch westjet i know him a little bit i know he's like the fucking commentary channel of youtube uh that talks about uh valorant dramas like he's the commentary valorant guy i don't know him that much but his take on it was pretty tame he was biased though i'm not biased i don't know who the fuck these people are i hate all of valorant players so this is the most unbiased you're gonna get but this was i saw an explanation somewhere around here oh uh here let's go to the likes this was the best explanation i could see from this entire situation is i've had a displeasure i've had the displeasure of playing with you multiple times and it's never been a good experience to be honest you've had an attitude every time and think you are way better than you actually are light edits is awful but he was just trying to help he wasn't backseating apparently this bitch has a history of being just a genuine like asshole in the community she she's just like a literal fucking douchebag to people when they play uh but this is the part that blew my mind uh, made me feel a little <laughs> made me feel awesome made it, it made the whole situation feel even better man i don't know why this got blown out of proportion do i think light edits is sexist no was his calm bad no is it weird that he deadlock started he and deadlock started yelling and saying i have an attitude because i said two words probably is it also weird that people have a bigger issue with me deadpanning saying she knows over watching a two minute edit of two people berating me you know let's just emphasize this a little bit why is this being blown out of proportion let's just scroll through 
here. I wonder, I wonder why. I wonder, I wonder why this is being blown out of proportion, chat. Hmm. And I wanted to take a second to look at this clip myself because she basically calls him out saying, this is probably why you deleted your VOD looking for scraps in mine, huh? Ew. So let's just watch this. Let's just see if he really is evil. Let's be the verdict here, all right? Unbiased opinion. Let's see if he's evil, chat. Is he evil? This is the verdict. This one is rare because. Oh my god, guys! You go, you go. Outlawing. Who's this? Okay. Viper? This name, this uh, voice sounds so familiar. Who's this viper? Sounds so familiar. It's our Duna. Isn't Duna the one that has like the ego? Where she's famous, God. Like. The part where he's like, e-girl, e-girl, it's like, okay, yeah, is he weird for saying that? Sure, but, like, at the end of the day, like, I don't know, I don't think that's a problem. Like, uh, he's just trying to be funny to chat. That's really all it is. Guys, I was just about to not hide my name. Oh, my God. I was literally about to hide my name, and I saw nobody was live with the viewers. Because I, no, I don't follow Juno. And I was like, alright, I'm gonna just hide my name. Zero delay, because I'm not gonna get into any oh, streamer yes. games. We have a chamber. Like, what is this calm? Come on, guys. They have a chamber? Like, what? The fuck type of calm is that, bro? Don't piss do. me off. Okay, okay. That's fair. I think that's cringe. Now, to be fair, he's not saying it to her face, so I don't think it's a really big issue. He's got comms turned off, so it's like... I, I think it's fine. But, yeah. That's a little cringe. That's a, that's a little cringe. Chad, I think we can agree that's a little cringe. You get If you're gonna complain about her, you know, giving attitude about comms... Or, or later down the line, you shouldn't be complaining about her fucking comms. You shouldn't. Who cares? Truly, I mean, it's comby, right? Uh, Yo, what is wrong with Juna, bro? Ain't no way she. It's fucking Shazam's girlfriend. She has an ego because she's dating a pro player. True! It's lit, no? Did anyone hit them? You're not good. Did Junebug bother you? Yo, fuck her up, amigo. I don't see an issue with any of this. Me. Who, who's the cloak? I'm gonna do research. Who's this cloak? Is there anything worthwhile past this? Is there anything that I care to talk about, chat? Clove is Luna Fox? I thought Luna... Never mind, almost got cancelled. Not a bad time. Yo, guys. Everyone going to chat and spam light edits is the best. Or some shit. I don't know. I don't even know why she included that. That's literally harmless. It, 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 it's not like it was a big deal. I think she, again, she's complaining about this being blown up proportion, but she's turning it into a bigger thing than it has to be. Uh, June, Juna, Juna, please, please, Juna. You fucking turn this into a sexist thing when it doesn't have to be. Just apologize and then walk away. That's the thing with this Valorant community that I fucking hate is this community is so brain dead retarded. They take these like minuscule things and they turn it into things that are bigger than it has to be. Uh, Valorant in itself has made this community into such a fucking brain rotted, one sided community, like echo chamber esque community, which is why it's one of the most hated communities in. In all of gaming this is why people don't like valorant it's because it's so one-sided i'm gonna just keep it real with you all right the reason why other people would rather play like league of legends is because you have the freedom to be toxic sorry to be the bearer of bad news valorant players or anybody who plays valorant but you need to grow a fucking spine you need to grow a spine you need to fucking grow a backbone who cares if someone's mean to you okay i can go on and on about her fucking post and other people complaining about it there's so many people who complained about this entire fucking clip it's annoying for this it's like yes you did give attitude do i think it's cringe that he got this upset yeah i think he's like cringe for getting this mad like who fucking cares but all you really had to do was just say like yeah sorry sorry i was like sorry that i gave uh you know attitude but instead she's making it into a bigger problem and then calling it <laughs> sexism when your gender was not brought into this your fucking sex was not brought into this no one said anything about you being a woman so it had nothing to do with women in gaming this is not a woman in gaming problem he just thought you had an attitude that's simply put uh i don't think it matters i don't think it matters i think this is i think this is the most disgusting thing i have ever seen this is horrible bro started tweaking out saying e-girl e-girl he said it two times he said it two times you are reaching juna you are reaching please holy fuck this is why people think you have a fucking 
ego problem, okay? You are making this bigger than it has to be. Just say you're sorry for being rude. Being a woman who plays video games is not a struggle, okay? You are not struggling, you are fine. If someone told you to go back to the kitchen, mute them. It is not that hard. There's such thing as moderation in video games. It's grow a fucking backbone. It's really not that hard. Everything is... If you're toxic about anything, you're bad, right? You're a bad person, you get banned, whatnot. It's it's cringe as fuck. It's created such a- it's in- in turn, it's created a toxic community in its- in itself. Valorant is so filled to the brim with literal sexual degenerates. Like, I'm not joking. This community is filled to the brim with sexual degenerates. All you really see on, like, fucking YouTube, TikTok, and whatnot is people in the Valorant community. They, they just straight up, like, make fucking edits of, like, if you get a kill, I'll give you a ooh-woo. If you get a kill, I'll give you an ada ada. It's literally just, like, fucking hentai voice actors who play this fucking game. This community sucks. I can give two shits about your stupid fucking comms, okay? Like, fucking shut up. Dude, the thing is about this comm, too, like I said, he's cringe for posting it. I don't think there's a reason for him to fucking post it like that's the thing is like if these people step foot in a in a league lobby like if they played league of legends these people would be molding there's moderation just if someone's being rude to you right mute them it doesn't matter right if you don't like someone that's on your team or they're being a douchebag mute them it's stupid they fight with each other at the th about the dumbest things like her boyfriend is a fucking loser too this fucking loser shazam right this guy is known for basically false flagging WestJet. I don't think any of them are in the wrong, and the reason why I feel that way it is mostly because of the fact that this is not a big deal, right? I've had arguments with my friends before when playing video games, right? I feel like a lot of us have. I feel like most of you guys have had arguments with your friends when playing video games and whatnot. I don't know why this is particularly a, such a big deal, right? The, the, the whole thing is that these two just had an argument, and it didn't really need to get blown out of proportion. As I said in the, in the clips, uh, I feel as if he is cringe for posting this. I also feel as if she is cringe for, uh, you know, arguing about it constantly on Twitter, right? I think he's stupid for making it a thing on Twitter and then her pushing it even farther because it's created such a massive, you know, argument with people on Twitter. It it's ridiculous. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is in general, the fact that I just hate this community. I hate the Valorant community in general, purely because Valorant is basically built off of these internet losers who they don't have any like social skills with one another, right? Like I said in the VOD, I pointed out that it's a lot of sexual degeneracy. I feel like Valorant has a lot of sexual degeneracy i mean i literally saw a post from a girl uh not long after this of some dude like hitting her up in a discord because he, he, he thought she was beautiful or something or people hitting on her in the game and again i can't emphasize enough that this is only really a valorant problem i don't really see this in any other game other than valorant and the reason why is because this game is so it, it's so filled to the brim with these white knight losers right like these dudes who are white knights because they refuse to accept guys in the community that are toxic whatnot right and, and then the problem is is because a lot of the women that play the game are soft people who just refuse to accept the fact that hey toxicity exists in video games one side of the coin is a bunch of women who are just literally pilled are, are so blue pilled right to the point where like any toxicity should not be accepted it doesn't matter if it, it doesn't matter what it is right no ex toxicity should be accepted and then the other side is a bunch of men who are white knights who think that they're gonna get some girl out of this game because you know they're a bunch of nice guys who can you know pick up any girls and then anytime like light edits does something you know remotely like rude or something or says anything remotely rude the community shuns people like that because what they're they're a little toxic like brother i i could give two shits right i could care less if he's a little toxic uh ultimately like i said i think both parties were stupid right i, I don't think he should have made this into a bigger deal by posting a fucking edit on twitter and i don't think she should have blown it out of proportion uh what do you guys think i want to know what you guys kind of have, have to say about it maybe you guys think a little differently than me on this subject uh but anyways guys uh before i end this video off just feel free to subscribe if you enjoyed the video you know like the video and and uh, turn on that notification bell. And also, I do have memberships. I have a membership program on my channel. Uh, if you do love my channel, you love seeing my videos, you love watching it, feel free to show some support. The lowest tier is simply just $2 a month, and you get emotes and access to members-only streams that I want to start doing uh, later down the line. But anyways, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.